This is the Pythonic Accountant, and today I'm going to show you something pretty crazy. So I asked Code Interpreter to make me an accounting general ledger program, and I asked for it to make it in a Streamlit application. I just discovered Streamlit recently, and that's a really cool front end that I'm going to show you in just a minute. Uh, but the really cool thing is the chat GPT was able to write multiple files and put them in a zip file for me to download. So I'll run through what I asked it to do. So I asked for a simple accounting general ledger reporting tool in Streamlit. Give me a zip file. And it said, of course, here's what I'm going to do. Do the setup, input form, display, and reports. Here's the step-by-step -step implementation it's going to take. That's awesome. And it uh, finished it all, and it gave me uh, some files for me to download. And I uh, downloaded it and ran it, but I had a, an issue. And so I gave it the issue and ChatGPT corrected it. I downloaded the new one. It was actually pretty good, but I had some feedback. I said, okay, the account balances are repeating themselves. And instead of having to select the debit and credit each time for the GL, maybe I can do some business events like recording a sale and collecting a receivable. And so what it did was it implemented those and it gave me a couple of business events. It only gave me two options, but you know, hey, this is just a demo. This is good enough for now. Maybe I'll add more later. And it has uh, downloaded the, uh, I've downloaded the file. So now what I'm going to do is show you. So I've already got it running. Um, all I had to do is just, you know, hit run. Um, by the way, this is what the code looks like. Pretty sweet. This is the uh, application itself. And this is the database uh, .py. Uh, these, this is the list of accounts. So I could actually go and modify that later. But let's go take a look at what the program looks like. And so this is, uh, I love this interface. This is Streamlit. So accounting general ledger, record a business event. Let's do today's date. I'm gonna say uh, sell 50 guitars. And uh, I'm gonna select the record sale business event. And let's say I sold those 50 guitars for yeah, $50,000. Yeah, they're pretty good guitars. Record event. And cool, so it recorded a ledger entry to sell 50 guitars, and it debited accounts receivable, credited sales, amount of $50,000, that's right. And check it out, my trial balance below has accounts receivable of 50,000, sales of 50,000. Now let's uh, collect maybe uh, half of that. So I'm gonna collect the receivable 25,000 record event, and you'll see my ledger NT reflected a, uh, an event recorded to collect the receivable. And now we've got 25,000 in cash, 25,000 in receivables. <laughs> this is really cool. All right, let's uh, jump forward uh, a day and collect the rest of it. So now we've got 25,000 more we're gonna collect. One more event we're gonna record and you can see it track the date and boom. Now we've got cash, we've got sales. This is pretty crazy, I'm really impressed. Um, well, this is all I've got for you today. I think there's a lot more fun we can have with Streamlit. A lot more fun we can have now that I know ChatGPT can write us these crazy, impressive working applications. And um, I'll see you at the next one. If you like this, please hit subscribe, hit like, and leave a comment if you have any suggestions on what we try to should try and build next.